Hello, my name is Benjamin Hornaday, and today we're talking about ocean deserts. My rhetorical question is, to what extent do ocean deserts affect ocean primary productivity within, the, within marine ecosystems in the past 30 years? In fact, they negatively, negatively affect these ocean deserts, or negatively affect the marine ecosystems because the ocean deserts are expanding, they have uh, the primary production within chlorophyll is low, and they cannot properly sustain life. For the first claim, what is ocean deserts? Ocean deserts are oligotrophic subtropical gyres. This means they're low in net autotrophy, and phytoplankton cannot produce, uh, cannot photosynthesize, and they're unable to support life. And they're also low in chlorophyll count and primary producers. This means they're insufficient, they have insufficient nutrients and low sunlight. So the phytoplankton, which is a primary, pro primary uh, producer for these oceans, cannot establish enough uh, nutrients for other animals to survive in these areas. Based on this graph by J.L. Sarmento, he says the sea wise chlorophyll is less than 0 0.1, 0 0.1 milligrams in the subtropics. In the Indian Ocean, the at North Pacific, South Pacific, North Atlantic, and South Atlantic, these oceans right here, this purple, and especially the pink zones, show the very extremely low, very extremely low uh, phytoplankton counts and chlorophyll. So start off the expansion. Chlorophyll, due to, due to the low chlorophyll and including temperature, the four oceans, or most of the gyres, are expanding. So it says right here by Jeffrey, in the ocean's least productive waters are expanding by Jeffrey Pelagina. The four oceans are combined are below chlorophyll waters are expanding at a rate of 0 .0, 0 0.8 million kilometers per year. This means that each of these, each of these oceans in the gray areas showing 1998 in the blue, 2006 and 2005 in the red, and both in the gray, so the natural expansion over time due to the low chlorophyll counts. It also shows the expansion of temperature, which is increasing by 0 0.02125 degrees Celsius and a 0 0.1 expansion per year. It shows in the ocean intercepts, and based on this graph, the slope of right here, which is the percent of 0 0.1, and the slope increase right here. It also shows the relationship between the chlorophyll and temperature due to uh, showing how they, the ocean deserts cannot sustain life. And the fluctuations between the both also show how the ocean deserts cannot sustain life. For the counterclaim, it's called remineralization. Using, it's also the transformation of organic matter into its simplest organic form. Carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus are usually the main elements used in remineralization. Bacterial plankton, which is a smaller part of the group phytoplankton uses this to grow off of in these in these ocean deserts. It, using the stimulus material of the NOAA and dissolved organic nitrogen in the global surface ocean distrib distribution and fate by Robert T. Lester. The graphs show the consumption and accumulation of the DOC within the bacterial plankton and group and graph B shows the growth over time, expanding from 90 days to zero and a 0.14 a cell increase. The limitations, the remineralization does not do enough to stop the expansion or help it sustain life enough. It shows that it's too low, there's not enough uh, remineralization being processed and growth is being made gradually, but it's not enough to counteract the expansion. To conclude, ocean deserts are unable to support life due to the phytoplankton ex having low chlorophyll and, and it's expanding over time due to temperature and the low chlorophyll and remineralization helps the growth but does not, does not uh, reach the amount necessary to sustain life. Thank you, what are your questions? All right, two questions I have for you. First up, what evidence did you gather that you didn't use? Uh, I had evidence on, I think it was from, I had a bunch of graphs and from like NASA and uh, visuals that I did not use that I didn't need, which only showed the overall picture, but it didn't give the specifics needed. Okay, and uh, what advice would you have for someone who's researching this in the future? 
Uh, I would do more towards this, maybe more the specifics on the expansion or being unable to support life. I had to find, there's not a lot uh, based on my research, but there is a, there's evidence there. And what you can use is very limited, but finding something to go under more, it's unable to support life would really help in the future. All right, you're done.